everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Discussa, a part of the Comcat series of the Communications Department at Augusta University. I'm your host, Tristan Lacey, joined with Nick Walbert, and our guest, Leo Lee. Awesome. So, Leo, you're Hello. an ROTC, yeah? Yes, I am. What made you join? Well, I've always wanted to join the military, and my brother went to West Point, and he's a commission officer. He's a first lieutenant now, so it kind of made me want to take an officer route instead of an enlisted route. So I j- decided to join ROTC because AU offers it. So I was like, why not? I don't need to go elsewhere. I can do ROTC here and be an officer. So what? So Leah, what is the ROTC, and what do you do in it? So our ROTC stands for Reserved Officer Training Corps. Pretty much uh, you can do two years, three or four year contract and train military officer skills while in college. So when once you graduate with a bachelor's degree, um, you'll be commissioned officer in the United States Army. Mm-hmm. And what I do is currently I'm taking MS1, military science one, like freshman level courses. And we're just learning the fundamentals of uh, being an officer, just basic leadership. So we're not really learning deep tactics or like higher level officer courses yet. But once I come back from basic combat training, hopefully this summer or fall, Mm -hmm. I'll be able to take MS3 or four courses and then do my two years. Awesome. Nice. So uh, do you have prior service? No, I do not have prior service. I thought you did. I no. was, yeah, I thought you did too as well. Uh, he always posted the pictures, so yeah. I thought he did. Oh, uh, yeah. So it's a program called First City Rifles. It's like a uh, California National Guard funded, gotcha. sponsored program. I did for about four years. Mm-hmm. What was that like? It's more like a JRTC, mm-hmm. but, you know, JRTC is more like, I guess, drill and ceremony and just fundamentals first city rifles taught me more of a field skills i guess more ftx and a training focus than drills nice would you say that that helped you like set up for success for rotc yeah the whole goal was to develop like a youth leaders and surprisingly we had airborne school recondo school school bus school Mm -hmm. i participated in uh airborne and recondo it was really good experience. That's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah. yeah. I'm also trying to do airborne. Go airborne. For those of us who don't know what airborne is, what is that? <laughs> it's pretty much soldiers jumping from airplane. C-130. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Cool. That that's cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um. So, what sort of trainings do you have to do for ROTC, or is there any training involved with it? So, as long as I'm understanding, when you're MS one or two, you will go to Fort Knox for your basic camp. That's mm-hmm. pretty much an introduction for you um, to what military is like. So that's when you decide, hey, military might not be it for me or, hey, I love it. I want to continue more. So MS1 and 2 is where you can just like dip your finger in to see how you like the military and decide to stay or not. There's no obligation to be MS1 or 2. Mm-hmm. But once you become MS3 and 4, you will go to advanced camp in Fort Knox and that's when you are pretty much you have to be contract and that's where they evaluate you as an officer hey like these guys know what he's doing yeah they know how to read maps you know like small leader skills gotcha so that's neat that's the training opportunities you have that's cool does the ROTC ever do anything for like the general body or is it all just together oh what do you mean like hold events yeah. So J, uh, ROTC has JCA, Jaguar Cadet Association. Uh, I'm sure you guys seen them around campus promoting like pull us for donuts and all other mm-hmm. like lemonade selling. So I believe they are very involved in campus life. And when we're hosting events like for 9 11 Memorial yeah. or, you know, the five, the, what is it, 5K run, mm-hmm. our, we do color guards. Most recently, I did a color guard for Air Force performing at Maxwell Theater. Cool. So. Nice. I can say ROTC is very involved on campus and awesome. you guys see them around wearing uniforms every like Monday, Wednesday, mm-hmm. Wednesday we have a lab. So if you're ever in Fort Hills around 3 p.m. on Wednesday, see you see a yeah, bunch of military with rifle gotcha. like, walking around. <laughs> you're like, what the heck is going on? Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Um, so uh, has being in ROTC, uh, do you think it's a 
affected your performance as a student? I mean, definitely um, it motivates you more to be a better person because one of the Army's core value is, you know, um, integrity that comes very along with your student life because, you know, it's easy to cheat and make good grades, but integrity kind of holds your back. Hey, like I need to study and mm -hmm. you actually learn something and it can apply instead of, hey, I got 100 on the test, but I'm, I didn't learn anything from that course. Gotcha. Very different. You're in other organizations too, right? Yes. I'm involved in uh, Greek Life. I'm current president of Phi Delta Theta. Nice. Nice, nice. Um, Brother in arms over here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, how did you get there? So um, fraternity life was pretty interesting to me because, um, first of all, I'm very like untraditional freshman, I guess, or now sophomore because um, I didn't go to college for 10 years. 10 years ago, fraternity was really wild place. You hear about hazing, death, mm -hmm. alcohol every day on the news, especially. Um, I mean, coming from Los Angeles, USC was really famous for their fraternity hazing. But then um, when I got to AU and looked around for campus and trying to figure out what I can do on campus, Greek life was one of them. And surprisingly, I didn't see any hazing or things that will, you know, get you in trouble or get get someone killed. So I was like, oh, maybe I was wrong or something's changed. Yeah. And that's, you know, when I started my research and I found about Fata Theta, Theta and I just decided, hey, that probably fits me the most. And that's how I ended up in Fata Theta. Yeah. I would definitely say a lot has probably changed in the past 10 years, but uh Luckily, I guess the university itself has a lot of rules against hazing and um, putting people at harm, too. So that's also a good thing. That's one of the reasons I ended up joining as well. Yeah. Yeah, me as well. How has being in both ROTC and FIDO impacted like you as a person? Do you feel like you've changed at all since yeah. joining either? Uh, well, um, I, I'm i currently majoring in criminal justice, mm -hmm. trying to... Uh, end up in law enforcement field either sheriff's office or like three-letter agency so both rtc and fight alpha theta like rectitude and integrity those core values actually you know make me a better person every day yeah and yeah our fight alpha theta slogan is be the best version of yourself and that kind of like reminds me every day you know, I'm a better man today than yesterday. Mm -hmm. And cool. I think that's really helping me in the college life too, because every day is a new day mm -hmm. oh, yeah. and it gets harder every day. You know, senior classes is very different from freshman courses. Yeah, so. it is. Mm -hmm. <laughs> very yeah. much is. So yeah, be a better version of yourself every day it helps. That's awesome to hear. That's, I really like that motto. Yeah. yeah. Uh, do you have a job anywhere on like on campus or in Augusta region at all? So I used to work for campus recreation for about a an year and now mm -hmm. I'm just taking a break from working because money, it was like really not my priority right now. Yeah. I, I'm, you know, since ROTC has other training schedules come up. So mm -hmm. for now, I'm not really working, but starting summer, I might work at country club. Oh, that's neat. Yeah. I'm yeah. Asterisk was really fun working at country club and I love people over there. Really? <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, which country club did you work at? The Augusta country club. Okay. I yeah. haven't heard that. I've been here for three years and I still know nothing about the masters or anything related to it. Yeah. It's literally right next to the Augusta okay. nationals. And they run like all year round. Yeah. Oh, that's so neat. Nice. Uh, what do you plan on doing there? Or oh, if you bartending. Do bartending. Gotcha. Nice. Yep. Are you good at it? No, I've worked as a bar back. So I, I was working with bartenders all week long and mm -hmm. I've always like wanted to learn how to bartend because you know, I'm over 21 guys. Um, so I like drinking. So <laughs> I, I you know, it's good to know how to make your own cocktails, yeah. you know, for parties. So I'm a good skill to learn. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If you need any recipes, hit me up. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> so what do you plan on doing after you graduate from AU? So if you're an ROTC cadet um, and if you're contracted, pretty much your path is already set. Okay. You have to serve eight years i guess gotcha. you can choose um six years active two years in reserve or four and four mm -hmm. but you are you have a job for eight years okay so most likely if i branch military police i'll go to um fort leonard wood in missouri and mm -hmm. do my bullock 
the basic officer leadership course. And from there and all, wherever army sends me, you know, I can go to Korea or I can go to Germany or anywhere in the US, yeah. wherever, because military police everywhere needs them. So oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. very flexible. So it's pretty set in stone. It sounds like a eight years is a long commitment. It is, but at the same time, if you think about it, a lot of people complain that, you know, after college, it's hard to find a job, but army is guaranteed job for the eight years. That's, That's true. also, you know, having eight years under your belt. So if I go to federal agencies, I'm like, yeah, I'm 80, I have, you know, I'm a veteran, I have eight years under, under my belt. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Or, you know, who knows? You know, if I get lucky, I do my 20 years, get my pension, all that stuff. That's uh, great. Tons of different opportunities. I was yeah. about to say, you have a solid plan for even after you graduate AAU. Yeah, so I'm set. That's nice. Hmm. Do you live on campus or do you just live like around? Oh, I live in Grove Town. Oh, wow. That's a, a house, community. Yeah. That's, that's a community. 30 minutes every day. Oh, that's not that bad. It's not bad, but it it's not bad. It's not but fun. when your class <laughs> ends at like 435, then yeah, five o'clock traffic kind of hates you. But yeah. Oh, yeah. You can always go down to gym, kill two hours, go mm -hmm. home at like seven or eight. There's no traffic. Yeah. I live, I mean, I still technically live in Augusta. I live with like Augusta, Martinez, and Evans. I all kind of connect in a point. Mm -hmm. I kind of live around that area. And it's like, it's still in Augusta, but it's still like a 20 minute drive for me. So, and especially when I get out of class at like two o'clock and I'm trying to drive home and I'm trying to go down Walton Way mm -hmm. and the traffic is backed up. And I'm just like, I, I just can't. I'm like, I want to be anywhere but here right now. <laughs> yeah. I mean, uh, Wrightsboro usually yeah. is okay, but you know, Gordon Highway, I think they should change to Eisenhower Highway now. But yeah. Since Gordon are, Highway, yeah. yeah, is like 55 miles per hour minimum and everyone's mm -hmm. driving like 70 down there. So usually okay. there's no traffic. I was about to say, that's me. Yeah. <laughs> I would be driving the 70 miles an hour. Yeah. <laughs> as long as you're keeping up the flow of traffic. Hey, just don't get pulled <laughs> over. That's yeah. it. Um, so what kind of events have you been a part of uh, since being here at AU, like with ROTC or your fraternity? So I think I've been part of all the major events. Um, as far as ROTC goes, I was color guarding for 9-11 and mm -hmm. uh, the Air Force, uh, the Band of the West playing in Maxwell Theater. And I helped JCA selling lemonade last semester. And as far as fraternity goes, um, we were tabling in Breezeway for a few days and mm -hmm. we did concession for last year during finals week. Okay, that's me. Yeah, and you know, Greek Life in general, they're hosting lots of events like Spring Fling, you see Greek Life out there. Mm -hmm. And yeah, during homecoming, you see Greek Life everywhere. So that's I me. can say, yeah, I was very involved. That's cool. Um, talking about tabling, uh, this is something that uh, I had been asked in the past and we've asked some other people. Mm -hmm. what, are your, what are your thoughts on tabling? Like it, hate it? I'm pretty neutral because tabling is the most basic way for you to promote yourself. But mm. at the same time, it could be very boring yes. because unless someone is like looking for Greek life, mm -hmm. no one really cares what you're tabling for. Exactly. So mm -hmm. it's a very hard approach. It's it like, is. you know, there's a science to it. Yeah, like I worked in sales industry for 10 years mm -hmm. and it's pretty much the same thing. It's really hard to sell a product if someone is not interested in buying exactly. it. Exactly. Yeah. And I, my thing that, that always bothers me when I'm tabling because it happens every single time is that you sit there, you try to reach out to people, talk to them. And you'll be like, hey, how are you doing? And it's the when the people will just like turn their face away from you visibly. Yeah. And I'm just like, okay, you could have just like said no thank you or yeah. something. And you the didn't hard have to part do that. is like you're tabling for a fraternity and like all the females are like, oh, I'm interested. Like, what is it about? And I, all like, I can say is, yeah, it's great live and fraternities for the guys. Uh, if you're interested, you got to go sorority. Sorority. Like, yeah. We can connect you if you like. Yeah, I can connect <laughs> you, but sorry, I cannot help you. Yeah. And the guys are like, yeah, I'm not interested or like oh yeah i don't want to drink too much but you know yeah that's, even if we tell them hey like drinking is that's not, not how we do yeah <laughs> but i know it's, it's really hard stereotype that like social yes. media and like the media in general is put out there so i i've had that encounter a lot and i'm sure tristan has as well yeah all the movies like, yeah. Yeah. yeah if you watch mm -hmm. movies like i don't know american pie like all Again, the fraternity parties yeah. everyone's like oh that's fraternity but it's not it's really, really not. yeah it's not it's, real it highlights yeah. the the dark side, yes. The dark side of it, not the actual like good side with like 
philanthropies and all that. Yeah, like, like philanthropy is really good thing because you are actually involved in your community more. Mm-hmm. Uh, for example, Phi Delta Theta, our philanthropy is ALS, so people suffering from Lou Gehrig's disease. Mm-hmm. That's our main like focus. So yeah, like we help the family in Evans suffering from ALS, did their yard work. Yeah. So that's awesome. Yeah. So being part of fraternity is really not all about partying. It's giving and, you back know, to the community. Yeah. It's about really giving back and build a better man. Like how to be a man. Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. Kind of like our slogan. Yeah. For Alpha <laughs> Sigma, our slogan is to better the man. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. what it is. Oh, your organizations, do they have like, like social media handles that people can go to and see what they're doing? Yeah, uh, Fidel to Theta, our uh, Instagram tag is AUG underscore Fidel. And for ROTC. That's a great question. Yeah. <laughs> they, we also have Instagram. It's a, it's, um, let me see. Let me look it up actually. Is it not the typical AUG underscore like everything else at the university? I don't think so. Yeah. Oh, so no, it's it is. AUG underscore Jaguar Battalion 6. Gotcha. Yeah. Awesome. It's pretty long handled, but it's AUG underscore Jaguar Battalion 6. Cool. Thanks for sharing that. Uh, is there any events coming? I know it's the end of the semester, but is there any events coming up for either of those organizations? Um, I believe for Fight Out the Theta, we're trying to host a car wash just okay. to raise some money for ALS awareness. And yeah, one of the brothers is suffering from ALS and I we're trying to raise some money for him. So some awesome. car wash is coming up. And as far as ROTC goes, there's military ball this Friday. Mm-hmm. Yes, RSVP sir. only, but <laughs> are you allowed what what happens at a military ball? People dance around in okay. nice uniform. So if you want to look sexy in dress blues, join the military <laughs> guys. Oh my gosh. I have to do black tie because I don't have a uniform yet, but it's fine. Yeah. It's fine. Uh, it's I'll, fine. I'll get my I'll get my good looking uniform next year. <laughs> yeah, once you're contacted, you get the AGSU, you know, the new back to pink and green. Can you tell us more about the philanthropy with, related with uh, Phi Delta Theta? Yeah. Um, so Phi Delta Theta, our main philanthropy is ALS, but it's not just ALS. We can pretty much like do any other community services. Mm-hmm. Um, ALS Foundation to like live like Lou. Yeah, what's is, that? See, so basically Lou Gehrig was fight out mm-hmm. and that's why it became our main uh, philanthropy. Gotcha. We raised millions of dollars all around the U.S. because mm-hmm. ALS is really a disease that has no cure cure yet or mm-hmm. like it's really the treatment is to, you know, I guess like extend your life by a little and yeah. supporting those family is really, really, really important because like you knowing that you're going to lose your loved one is really hard on people. Yeah. Yeah, it is. It is. Well, it's great stuff that y'all do. Um, do y'all do any community service with either the battalion or uh, Fight Delta Theta? So community service wise, uh, we actually volunteer at uh, Candlelight Music Events. Oh. I think tomorrow, Wednesday. There's one at 8.30 p.m. in yeah. downtown. So if you go on our Instagram, we have pictures coming up for candlelights. And ROTC, I don't really think there's any, like, community service. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like, I think we're just tasked of doing it on our own and yeah. coming okay. back to it. Cause, you know, Do you have to, like, chart it or whatever or whatnot? I mean, technically, you're serving your country. It's the best community service you can do for an American people. Okay, that's fair. <laughs> Can't argue with that. Can't argue with that. <laughs> Um, that's actually funny that you bring up the candlelight thing. I'm actually going to that tomorrow with my mom. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. you'll see some Final Theta brothers awesome. helping them break down things after. That's cool. That's yeah. nice. I'm that's excited nice. for it. Um, what advice would you give for anybody who wants to join either organizations? Or just be involved on campus? So as far as ROTC goes, like I said, MS1 and 2, you don't need any military obligation by participating. So you can actually join and find out if you like it or not. So don't be afraid. Who knows? Maybe military, you might love it. And they pay for your tuition or on like housing. So mm-hmm. why not? You have nothing to lose. And as far as fraternities, we have four great fraternities on campus. So even though I'm, you know, president of Fight Alpha Theta and promoting Fight Alpha Theta, check out other fraternities on campus. Talk to every one of them. Try to find the one that actually fits you, you know. Don't join one of them because, you know, they're all looking cool, partying. But join the one that actually 
would make you a better person because yeah. if you joined a wrong fraternity, you will hate yourself. Yeah. Uh, with that too, like, is there any advice that you would give for people who aren't active in organizations? Uh, yeah. Well, 10 years ago, when I first went to community college, I was not involved at all. Mm -hmm. All I would do is go to classes and go home and play video games. Mm -hmm. That's one thing I regret the most not being part of like school organizations and yeah. be part of things. And that's what kind of made me like, I want to do everything when I came to AU mm -hmm. because college life is just like once in your lifetime, yeah. you can come back. Yes. But once you graduate, like you wouldn't really come back to college. And even if you come back for masters and PhD, it's different. It's not undergrad. It's yeah. Just enjoy your undergrad life. You know, you're in your early twenties, mid twenties, like use your youth wisely because yeah. me It'll almost be being 30 you know is it. getting hard. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's great. Well, thank you for sharing all that. And thank you for showing up. Uh, what are your, the social medias again? It's AUG underscore. Yeah. AG, AUG underscore Fidelt P H I D E L T. And for ROTC, it's AUG underscore Jaguar battalion six. Awesome. Well, thank you, Leo, for joining us today on this episode of uh, Disgusta. Um, any final thoughts from any of us? No, oh, man. Thanks for coming out. I appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, thanks for the invite. Yeah, no problem. All right. Thank you all. Thanks, y'all. Disclaimer. Thank you for listening to today's episode of Disgusta. Disgusta is produced by Brandon Barton and is edited by Andrew Chalker. Disgusta is a part of the Comcats at Augusta University. The ideas and opinions expressed during this podcast are of the students enrolled in Com 3340 podcasting and audio production and do not reflect those of Augusta University. 